For this project, I went out and bought a 1 inch by 3 inch by 8 foot long board, and to make things a little easier to work with and handle, I'm going to cut it in half so I'll have two 4 foot long sections. Next, I'm going to be making a mark on each side that's about 3 eighths of an inch from the edge. Here I'll be raising my table saw blade up to about 1 eighth of an inch, and I'll be cutting a channel in the wood at the lines I just made in the previous step. It should now hopefully look similar to this. I was recently at Menards and I saw this piece of plastic called a bullnose corner bead that drywall installers use when sheetrocking a home. However, my mind immediately thought it had potential to work as a diffuser. And just like the wood, this came in an 8 foot long section so I'll be cutting it in half. Now you can really use any lights you want, but to get the full smooth neon look that I love with no hot spots, I recommend using a strip that has 60 or 100 LEDs per meter. I ended up soldering my own 18 gauge silicone wires to the beginning and end of a 4 foot section. I won't go over step by step of that process since I already made a how to solder video that you can watch that walks you through in great detail on what I just did to get to this point. Next all you have to do is secure the LED strip to the wood down the center. Now since the vinyl we're going to use has a barcode and some lettering on it, a lot of people in a previous video mentioned that this type of stuff can easily be removed with some acetone. Just put a little bit on a rag and everyone was right, it will come right off. So now all you have to do to attach things together is put one side of the vinyl diffuser into one of the grooves we cut out. Next you can just begin to fold and almost snap the other side in place. I went ahead and made a total of three more identical sections so I can have a little bit more fun testing these out. One thing I want to bring up is that depending on where you're going to put these, you may want to cover up the tiny holes. The cheapest and easiest way I could think of was just using a roll of paper. Cut out a narrow section that's as long as the diffuser and slide it in place. I did later figure out that it was a little bit easier if I put the paper in the grooves first and then snap the vinyl diffuser in place after. As far as controlling the lights and getting everything hooked up, I'll be using WLED installed on an ESP32 board. I'll leave links in the description to a couple videos I previously made going over step by step how I get everything set up and connected in case you want to do it the same way. So that about wraps things up. I'll leave links in the description to everything I use, but feel free to ask me any questions you might have and I hope you enjoy the final pictures and videos.